Welcome back, and uh, today's a fun one because this is the start of like a project that I've been thinking about for a long time, and uh, I'm pretty jacked about it. So I've got the final attack over there. You guys have seen it in plenty of videos. It's a little marsh runner boat, and um, it's getting a facelift this year because I'm going to be using it for something a little bit different than I had in the past, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I've got some spray paint over here. Got some black. Got some, what is this one, slate, and it's ultra matte, which is good. Got like this, this one's called fossil. It's like a tan color. And I got some satin granite. So we got some interesting camo colors. So what I'm planning on doing is spray painting the final attack and uh, giving it a little bit of a different look. And so it's going to be used for some open water hunting. I don't know how great it's going to work out. It could work phenomenally. It could be a major flop, but we'll find out. I'm only out a few bucks from spray paint, and I've got the camo cover for that, so it's going to cover it up regardless if I want to take it in the marsh or something like that. So no big deal. Not really out a whole lot of money, but we're going to try this out for this season because we get the big boat, we get the layout boat. Might as well try and do something a little bit different than I have done in the past, which I think it'll work out pretty good. So I gave the old final attack a nice little rinse, a little wash down, and uh, wiped it off so it's going to be able to hold some paint pretty well, I think. And uh, I'm not going to be too butthurt if the paint rubs off. I've got paint. I can touch it up. But even then, if some of this kind of gray, brown, tan color from the boat shines through, really no big deal. I think it'll work out okay. But I guess we'll start with like maybe the front side of this and see how it looks and go from there. I'm kind of going to base the pattern off of some of the other layout boats I've seen for open water hunting. So let's get after this. What are you thinking? Um, Big stretch. Oh yeah. Lazy day. My wife got Cora a new collar. She's like, everybody thinks she's a boy. We need to get her a girl collar. So there you are. Looking graceful as ever. Okay, so I'm, like I said, I got four colors. I think I'm gonna do the base as this slate color and do a lot of accents with this granite, kind of two dark gray, light gray, and add some black and maybe just a little bit of tan in there to kind of mimic some muddy water. You're not gonna like this. You might get paint all over you. Don't bite these cans. That would be a bad deal if you popped one of these on your face, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll go put you inside while we do this. Unless you are going to stay out here and not get up into this. Go play. Oh, I might regret the decision of leaving her out here, but... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go put you up. Come on. All right. We'll give this a good shake. I did uh, put some masking tape on the lights and on the stickers for the registration. I don't know if I'm going to use a motor on this boat again, but I figure I might as well keep the state one nice and I can redo the stickers at some point if need be. All right, here we go, ultra matte slate. Let's see what this looks like. That actually looks pretty darn good. That's a good color. Let me know what you guys think of that. that. That looks pretty darn good. So I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and do a quick coat of this gray across the whole thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to paint the inside of the cavity. It's just gonna wear out. There's already mud and stuff in there. It's hard to clean out the inside of this thing. So I'm gonna just leave that as is. It should be all right. Um, I'm gonna just kind of paint the whole outside of this thing. So we'll get to work here. All right, first coat is done. <laughs> it changed it completely. I didn't get super detailed into it, getting like a really solid coat on there because I kind of like that tan color coming through. It kind of adds to the, the camo, but I added pretty decent amount all the way around. It's a pretty solid gray color now, and it's looking pretty good. So some of you guys might be wondering, like why am I trying to set this up for open water? Well, it's 
because I've never hunted open water like that and I've got this boat. I'm gonna probably use the big boat now for the things I was using this boat for. So might as well get some use out of this while I can. It's super low profile, it's super steady and I think it's gonna work great for hunting in some open water. So maybe a giant flop, but I figured might as well make do with something that I've got and then, uh, you know, better than spending money on stuff that I'm going you know, to use maybe a couple of times. So figured, you know, had it, buy some paint, might as well give it a try, but it's looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can tell with the shadow from the tree or not, but pretty decent gray color there. It's going to kind of come together now, I think, but let me know what you guys think. All right, now it's time for granite to go on there. Coming along, I don't know how good the camera's picking it up. It's a really subtle difference between those two colors. Now I'm gonna go very sparse with this tan. All right, now we got some black. It's kind of coming together with that tan. I tried it right here. We'll see how it looks when it dries, but I just kind of went real light and just kind of dusted this thing to make it look kind of muddy. But we'll see how I like the black on here. I might do just the same thing I did with the tan. Just kind of add some dimension to this thing. So we got some black. Let's see how it goes. The black really tied everything together. It looks really freaking good. I think I'm gonna come back over another time with some of that tan. Here it is, guys. Shadow from that tree might be messing it a little bit. You guys can probably tell that looks really good. Here's a good sunlight portion. There you go. Really good camo job, if you ask me. I, I think it looks great. Got the back side there. But that's kind of the effect that I was going for, just kind of looking like some moving water. It looks good, man. Honestly, I'm very happy that I did this. The boat is looking way different. The leaf shadows might be adding a little bit of an effect to it for you guys, but Overall, this thing looks like a legit layout boat now. We're ready to go hunt some divers. It's uh, it's gonna be fun to see how this thing plays out. And like I said, if, if the paint wears out, I'll just hit it again. I mean, this was really simple. It took me 20 minutes to do this. Four cans of spray paint and we got ourselves a dandy looking layout boat. Oh yeah, I think that'll do that'll do nicely well guys that is a wrap for this project i think it turned out pretty good let me know down in the comments what you guys think um i don't know how many times i'm going to use this this season and i don't want to give away too much information about what i'm planning on doing with it but i'm sure for those of you who know what i'm doing with this you, you've got an idea of what my plan is but um yeah turned out really good quick and easy nice paint job looks really good we'll see how long it lasts but um spray paint's pretty cheap just touch it up but yeah if you guys need a layout boat painted call me up I'm doing a really good job I got a special I could probably do one more for you with the paint I got left but I think Cora's over there underneath the table out of the sun <laughs> but yeah leave me a like on this video so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, I guess stay tuned because there's gonna be more waterfowl content coming out here pretty soon season's getting close I can't wait I hope you guys are as pumped up about it as I am. So that's it for today. I'll catch you on the next one.